The following is a paid program presented by Jersey Sports Zone and RWJ Barnabas Health. Coming up, the top spot in Hudson County is on the line as St. Peter's Prep and Ferris square off at Miller Stadium. The Shore Lacrosse champs are crowned at Monmouth University. RFH gets a repeat on the boys' side, while the Monarchs of Trinity Hall make history in an exciting girls' final. Middletown South is ready to begin its quest for a second straight championship with a shield on the mound that rivals Captain America's weapon. You know you fell hard when the crowd goes, woo. An old Japan sophomore has gone viral after showing what it means to never give up. Championship season continues, and that gives you every reason to be fired up. We've got a bird's eye view of another great week of New Jersey high school sports. Welcome to another edition of Jersey Sports Zone TV presented by RWJ Barnabas Health. I'm Rich Crampanis. The state playoffs are underway, but we've still got championships to be decided in conference and county play. Let's get started with another great week of New Jersey high school sports with Jay Cook with the Hudson County Baseball Final. Thanks, Rich. It's a scorching hot day here in West New York at Miller Stadium. You know what else is red hot? this rivalry between St. Peter's Prep and Ferris. The top two teams in Hudson County all season long clash one more time with the Hudson County Championship on the line. The Marauders get it going early. Top two, it's Jonathan Muller. He's first pitch swinging. It's fair down the third baseline. The runner jogs across the dish after Muller's RBI single. It's two nothing Peters. Up next is RJ Fiore. He sends a two-strike pitch to center field. Muller gets on his horse and scores from first. St. Peter's Prep puts up a three spot in the second inning. Nick Rappa got the start for the Marauders. He was cooking. Seven strikeouts on the day for him. Ferris goes into the fifth inning without a hit. But the Bulldogs come to life in the fifth. Two runners on for Jacob Ruiz, and he clears the bases. Ruiz comes up clutch with a two-run single. Ferris cuts the deficit. It's 4-2 headed into the sixth. Despite the nearly 100 degree temperatures on the field, Nick Rappa would go the distance. This punch out ends the game and St. Peter's Prep are your 2022 Hudson County Tournament champs. 5-2 is the final. Rappa's stellar complete game effort gives the Marauders their first county title since 2018. Getting here was the real thing. Thursday night, we had to win that game, we did. I trust my guys every single pitch I throw. I know that if a ball is in the infield, they're making the play. That's just a contribution to how hard we work. Every single day we grind. That's how we got it done, baby. That's how. Now to West Long Branch. Rich Crampanis has more from the Shore Conference Lacrosse Finals. Thanks, Jay. Monmouth University the host for the Shore Conference Lacrosse Finals. Rumps and Fairhaven seeking a remarkable ninth straight championship. Trinity Hall rallied from six goals down in the semis to score an incredible 12-11 win over Manasquan. Peyton McGuire scored the game winner as time expired to get her team to the championship. McGuire scored her 100th career goal in that dramatic semifinal win, and here's 101. The junior can score on both sides. A sweet lefty shot there. Trinity Hall takes a 4-3 lead in the first half. Mary Kate Allingham spent her freshman season at RFH before coming to Trinity. She has left her mark on the Monarchs as a vocal leader and a quality scorer. MK great on the move. She scores back-to-back -back goals. This one off a great feed from Paige Nolan. And at the half, the Monarchs have a 7-3 lead. Allingham was sensational, 
Great stick fake here for another goal. MK Allingham leads all scorers with four goals and three assists. A game to remember for the Mount St. Mary's commit. 17-7 is your final. Trinity pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in shore history in the semis and used that momentum to score its biggest win of the season. I just love to make a name for ourselves as a school, and I really think we're doing that every single day. I mean, this win means so much to me. I've wanted this since last, last year. I've wanted this since my freshman year, honestly. And it just feels so good to finally get it. And I'm just, we did that, we did it. I mean, last, last game felt like a dream, but this one, this one feels real. This one really sunk in, and this one means so much to every single person on my team. The boys' championship had Rumps and Fairhaven getting a challenge from Wall. The Crimson Knights came to play after upsetting rival Manasquan in the semis. Navy commit John McCurry had two goals in the span of 40 seconds to jump out to a 3-2 lead. Tied at four at the half, RFH takes control in the third quarter. Tommy French was on a mission. He scores a pair of goals to open the third, and then here comes Cole Cashin. Hits the gas, the brakes, and revs up again. The Yale commit scores a hat trick in the short championship. Jack McCarron capped off five straight goals for Rumson in the third quarter as the Bulldogs make it back-to-back -back short conference championships. 12-7 is your final. The Bulldogs have set the standard for excellence on the Jersey Shore. It means a lot. We made it a habit of just getting here, but now we're going to make it a habit of winning every year. Well, yeah, we recognized that they were switching a man in the second half. We saw our shorty matchups, and we just took them, whether it be me, Cole, even Grayson Golden, the freshman, had an amazing day. Time to take a break. When we come back, Middletown South won the Monmouth County Championship thanks to another stellar effort from their ace. We profile Ben Shield and his knack for delivering in the big game. Plus, I'm Mike Frankel where it's foggy in Ocean City, but the top plays of the week are once again crystal clear. Stick with us later in the show. It's the Jersey Sports Zone top 10 plays of the week. Jersey Sports Zone will be right back. I'm the director of the Cancer Center, designated by the National Cancer Institute. We are here to make an important distinction. There are cancer centers. And there are NCI-designated cancer centers. Recognized for world-class research and positive impact on their communities. No single person is going to cure cancer. It'll take a team effort. That's what an NCI-designated cancer center is all about. In New Jersey, there's only one. Rutgers Cancer Institute in New Jersey, together with RWJ Barnabas Health. You know, Rutgers truly embodies the community because it represents a lot of those voices within the community, and I think that that's important. RBS had so many different mentorship programs and really cool diversity initiatives, you know, from women in business to different organizations that really help students grow and to really focus on what's important to you. Being an immigrant, it's definitely helpful being at Rutgers and seeing other students who look like me. It's really nice to be in a situation in a place where there are very good people who take good care of people. Orthopedics is about, it's not about saving lives, it's about saving quality of life. A lot of people, we live high stress lives, so if you tell someone they can't do something for whatever reason, that's pretty traumatic. I really take pride in trying to be empathetic and trying to put myself in every patient's shoes. I want to take care of people like I'd want to take care of my family. And I think that when you do that and give somebody that family feeling and give them your honest opinion for what you would do, they value that. We go into the JSZ archives for a blast from the past, brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates. Hey everyone, I'm James Mooney with you as we head back to 2021, where Rich Krampanis witnessed Trinity Hall snap Rumson Fairhaven's 127 game winning streak against the Shore Conference. And it sets the stage for this. Mary Kate Allingham, the high pass. McGuire's got it on the doorstep. Her fourth goal of the game, one of the biggest moments in Trinity Hall history. Take another look. This one actually goes off a stick, but McGuire concentrates, and she's not going to miss from that short range. 132 to go. Trinity Hall up 8 to 7. Rumson's 127 game win streak is truly remarkable. It lasted nine years and three days. I still can't believe it. Like, this was our goal since our season ended last year because of COVID. This is a game we've been looking forward to, and I just can't believe we won. Blast from the Past is brought to you by Princeton Orthopedic Associates, a proud sponsor of Jersey Sports Zone for the last five years.
My parents always told me when I was younger, keep doing your thing no matter what. Ben Shields' thing is not just pitching, it's pitching in the big game. Most high school juniors don't have the experience of being in a high pressure spot, but for the Middletown Southies, it's second nature. He's got a lot of experience. I mean, he did throw in the state final last year through a shutout, and now every time we go out and play a big game, he's saying, I'm taking the ball today. Shield was 8-0 as a sophomore, capped off with a complete game, two-hit shutout of Montclair to give the Eagles their second state championship in school history. His junior year is following a similar script. To be honest, the only thing I got in my mind right now is winning the state championship. Uh, I don't really care about individual stuff right now, just we got to win a state championship and that's our one goal for the rest of the year. He no-hit Freehold Township on opening day, beat state power Cranford, and went eight and a third shutout innings against Red Bank Catholic. He's had double-digit strikeouts in five of his six starts, most recently an 11 strikeout performance in the Eagles' Monmouth County Tournament Championship against Wall. Shield is 5-0 with a 1.28 ERA, striking out 69 and walking just 15. He's just been really dominant and he knows that when he's on, he's on and he really doesn't need to change anything else. So as long as he's, you know, staying within himself, he's going to be very good. Where he wants to throw, that's where the ball's going to go. Every hitter needs to watch out because he's going to be here for one more year. Off speed, fastball, everything. The ball moves like crazy. He's just about, I think he's the best arm. Maybe he's definitely the best arm in the state, in my opinion. He's great. And whenever he's on the mound, I know we have a great chance of winning. Shield wows you with a fastball in the low 90s, but it's his ability to showcase multiple pitches with movement and pinpoint control that is the key to his dominance over the past two years. I think my best pitch and the pitch I'm most comfortable with is my fastball, uh, four seam fastball, kind of just go out there and throw it. I throw some two seams, but not much. And then other than that, it's mostly slider and change up. And then when I want to get a hitter off balance, it's a curveball. But for the most part, it's four seam slider and change up. And I'm really confident with all of them. It kind of just depends on the day and kind of what I'm feeling. Shield really isn't interested in talking about pitching in college at the University of Connecticut or the inevitable scouts who will flock to Middletown to watch him leading up to the 2023 MLB draft. Shield doesn't think too much about being the next great pitcher from the shore. I know every time I'm on the mound, like, I know I have the stuff to do it. I kind of never get myself caught up in the statistics or kind of who's around me. Obviously, they're all, uh, they're all great pitchers, but I kind of just don't try to think about it and go out there and do my thing. Every time you see him on the mound, he's unflappable. But we finally saw the Eagles ace get rattled. Single time. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Oh my God, that's cold. Middletown South hopes to rattle him one more time next month in their quest for a second straight state title. In Lincroft, I'm Rich Crampanis for JerseySportsZone.com. Time to step away. When we come back, Old Tapan's Abigail Dennis turned disaster into a viral moment on the track. You won't want to miss the story of a sophomore who conquered a hurdle that has everyone inspired. You're watching Jersey Sports on TV, presented by RWJ Barnabas Health. RWJ Barnabas Health has a passion for heart health with the most comprehensive services, including the state's largest adult and pediatric cardiac surgery programs, a heart transplant program that's top 10 nationally, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements, and nationally renowned care for every heart in every community. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. RWJ Barnabas Health. Jersey Sports Zone brings a new level of exposure to New Jersey high school athletes. Did you know that JSZ has over 16 million views on our YouTube channel, which tops 10,000 videos? On social media, Jersey Sports Zone reached the 50,000 mark on Instagram. And throughout the course of the year, we hand out over 100 game balls and honor more than 400 athletes with all state honors. You can always see the action 24 7 at jerseysportszone.com.
Max always dreamed of having nice things. But first he needed to find the path to financial success, starting with the right banking partner, one that has a trusted history with customers and the community, the latest technology, but still knows him by name. Then Max found Ocean First Bank. They're making his dreams come to life. Ocean First Bank. Putting you first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Opportunity Lender. It's time for JSE's Recruiting Roundup, presented by Ocean First Bank. What's going on, everyone? Neri Rodriguez here for the Recruiting Roundup. Lacrosse State playoffs are upon us, and this week we're highlighting one of the state's top talents hailing from Don Bosco. Let's get to know Connor Gorman. Don Bosco has put its name with the upper echelon of lacrosse in New Jersey, and that's thanks in part to players like Connor Gorman. The senior leading the Ironmen in goals with 42 this season surpassed 100 in his career and will be a player to watch as Bosco looks to repeat as TOC champs. Gorman will continue his lax career at Marquette. This recruiting roundup is brought to you by Ocean First Bank. Ready to bank whenever and wherever? We've got you covered. I just keep remembering the official who was working the finish line. He looks over to me and he goes, that was the most impressive thing I've seen at a track meet. And I just keep thinking of that comment. It really was. It was just amazing. The tidal wave of emotions Abigail Dennis felt last weekend would be enough to drown you. In a matter of moments, she overcame a surge of embarrassment to experience a triumph hardly, if ever, seen on the track. You know you fell hard when the crowd goes, Ooh. It was this race, the 100-meter hurdle heat at the Bergen County Championships on May 14th. A promising start to the race soon turned sour, and a tumble immediately put her in last place. But Dennis buckled down, recuperated, and found another gear. She zoomed past the field and rallied to win the heat and punch a ticket to the final. You know, I kind of expected that stutter after I went over with the wrong foot, but I literally didn't expect to like lay out and like Superman fall. <laughs> so I, kind, I think I was kind of just startled, but like I was, it was kind of more like a, you got to get back up and finish this more than like a, oh my God, what just happened? You know what I mean? And you know, a lot of kids would have just gotten up and, and, and went right to the trainer. Um, but the really, if you're a track person, you, you know, we're talking about how impressive it is for her to get up and to not only just finish the race, but to finish it in that speed. I mean, for her to just hop on and three-step in the middle of a race is just unheard of. But that wasn't all. Despite the bumps and bruises, that adrenaline rush rolled over into the 100-meter hurdle final. Dennis crushed it and won gold. She posted a personal record of 14.28, the second best overall time in all of New Jersey this season. No, my goal in finals was to redeem myself, and I knew that the first step of doing that was getting a PR. So my, at my last meet, I went a 14-4, and my goal was to go 14-2, 14-3 this meet, and I did that. I think that was also because of adrenaline, because if you fall again, people are like, what? You know what I mean? It only took a matter of days for that 38-second video to go viral across the world. It had been seen 1.2 million times already on Old Japan's official track and field Twitter page and could have many more views across the far reaches of the internet. And my favorite part actually was like the comments. Like some people were like, I mean, they were mostly good and people were like, oh my God, like it was so nice to you get back up. And then coaches, so like I think it was just, I realized it went viral when I woke up and it was at 700,000 followers, 700,000 views. All of a sudden it just took off. Um, so you see, like, it's pretty funny. I would, you know, have some contacts in the college world and they would, uh, retweet it or like it and I would screenshot it be like hey that's my kid uh, so you know it's just pretty cool seeing old Japan uh, out out there and uh, you know she was saying about Olympians seeing it and retweeting it is pretty special moment for her Abigail Dennis wasn't the first to fall down and certainly won't be the last her advice is good for any hurdle life throws you would you rather go home and have the weight of not finishing it on your chest or would you rather go home and, you know, I've crossed the line? I think definitely just like for yourself, just like get up and finish it because it's going to feel so much better if you get back up than if you like, you know, kind of say like, oh, why'd I fall or like sulk a little bit. It's just so much. It's like a great feeling of just crossing the finish line after falling like that. Reporting from Old Japan, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com. Time for one more break when we come back. We've got the best plays captured by JSE cameras. The top 10 plays of the week 
are right around the corner. I'm the director of the Cancer Center, designated by the National Cancer Institute. We are here to make an important distinction. There are cancer centers. And there are NCI-designated cancer centers. Recognized for world-class research. And positive impact on their communities. No single person is going to cure cancer. It'll take a team effort. That's what an NCI-designated cancer center is all about. In New Jersey, there's only one. Rutgers Cancer Institute in New Jersey, together with RWJ Barnabas Health. You don't need to miss any of the action in New Jersey high school sports. Follow Jersey Sports Zone right now on our various social media pages or on our YouTube channel. You can even download our app for free today, available in the Apple and Google Play app stores. Fresh content is posted every single day on JerseySportsZone.com. Don't miss any of the action as it comes from our cameras right to you. The Boys and Girls Club of Newark is a hub for young people in an environment where they can sometimes feel unsafe. It's a place where people care about them, where they have a lot of opportunities that they would not otherwise have. Thanks a lot. I hope the club will always be here. Jersey Sports Zone's Game Ball Spotlight is presented by RWJ Barnabas Health. Hey, what's going on everyone? Jay Cook here in Bergen County. Each week throughout the spring season, we put the spotlight on some of the top baseball and softball performers throughout the regular season. Now that the regular season has come to a close, this is our final Game Ball Spotlight of the year. We make one last trip, this time to Lodi. Hi, I'm Coach Sire from IC. Just want to congratulate Maddie on getting Jersey Sports Zone Game Ball. Thank you. Maddie, a big three home run game against Patterson Charter. What was working for you at the plate? Um, I just really kept my hand back and I was seeing the ball really well. Who do you want to thank for the award? Because you got a ton of votes. Um, I just want to thank my parents, my coaches, my teammates, and everyone else who voted. It's the second year in a row that you've won a game ball. Where's this one going? Yes, um, probably next to the first one. <laughs> Let's hear it for it, girls! <laughs> Thank you to the thousands of people who voted for our spring, winter, and fall game balls this entire season. I'm Mike Frankel in Foggy Ocean City where the state lacrosse playoffs are underway. The games are getting bigger and the plays are getting even better this time of year. So here they are, the Jersey Sports Zone Top 10 Plays of the Week. Number 10. Just over three minutes to go in the third. Grimley shakes off a defender and buries his second goal of the night. The sophomore finishes with five points. OC leads 5-4 after three. Number nine. Top seven now. NBC looks for insurance. Gwen Quackenboss says, how about this? It's gone. The senior slugs a two-run bomb that got out of town in a hurry. That's the big hit Northern Burlington needed to put this game out of reach. Number eight. Papa from eight meters lets it rip. Alex was a key defensive piece in last year's state championship team. She was able to show her offensive skill set on the big stage. Coach Melissa Lehman at Rutgers is going to get a complete well-rounded player. Number seven. So to the bottom of the seventh we go. Ferris with a runner on first, not for long. It's Nick Policchio at the hot corner. He comes through with a 5-3 double play. Policchio snares the line drive and doubles up the runner. He was locked in all game long. That was his best play of the afternoon. Number six. Top three, Wall's looking for more. Nick Lavarco hits it hard. It gets past the third baseman and into left field. Nick Colbert's coming home and we've got to play at the plate. Jack Myers hits the relay man, Sean Griggs, who fires to Shane Andrews, who applies the tag. A 7-5-2 throwout keeps it a one nothing game. Number five. Rumson is able to load the bases on an error, walk, and a hit batter to set the stage for Brian Doherty. 
He's first pitch swinging. It's into left field, and Rumson is through to the Shore Conference Tournament semifinals. After a five-inning fog out, Rumson can see clearly now with a Saturday morning walk-off. Number four. Same score in the top of the fifth. Andy Figueroa flips one into right, but Michael Chiaravallo comes up firing and gets the out at first. What a play from the junior to end the inning. Number three. We pick things up in the second quarter. Wall trails 2-1. John McCurry behind the cage. Watch how he contorts his body and scores. That's one heck of a goal. McCurry looks like a professional acrobat with this finish. That ties the game up. Number two. Weingartner comes into the game with runners on first and second. He picks up two strikeouts, so the Hermits are one out away now. Weingartner blows a fastball in there for strike three. The senior strikes out the side to earn the save as St. Augustine wins the Diamond Classic. I think we proved that we're the best team um, in South Jersey. And the number one play of the week. Rumson Fairhaven is tenacious though. Look at this effort from Bo Kemmler. The defenseman forces a turnover and immediately goes on offense. Kemmler goes the distance. That sends the Bulldogs into a frenzy. Kemmler's goal ties the game up at four all as we go to the half. Thanks so much for making us a part of your Sunday each and every week. We'll be with you right through the state finals. Sunday's at 1130 right here on WLNY TV. For our team at Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Rich Krampanis. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next Sunday with more great high school action in New Jersey on Jersey Sports Zone TV. RWJ Barnabas Health has a passion for heart health with the most comprehensive services, including the state's largest adult and pediatric cardiac surgery programs, a heart transplant program that's top 10 nationally, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements, and nationally renowned care for every heart in every community. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. RWJ Barnabas Health. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. The proceeding was a paid program presented by Jersey Sports Zone and RWJ Barnabas Health.